Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the 2019 Tesla Model X P100. This car comes in grey exterior and black interior with carbon fiber. The combination looks very good. The Model X is very famous to have very small bonnet compared to the other SUVs because there is no engine here. You know, the electric motors are actually above the chassis, so below the car, in the front and the back. So you have two trunks, one in the front and one in the back. There's two aggressive lines on the bonnet on each side. You'll see them easily while driving. Very simple design kind of plain but in a good way it looks elegant and sporty at the same time very nice led lights they run in lights in white they eliminate very nicely also you have different parking sensors fog light tesla logo here as you can see the grill for the bumper is not very big because it doesn't need to be big uh, to cool the engine the opening is from below as for the batteries to cool down and you will hear them especially if it's hot or you're driving the car past you need around 5 to 10 minutes in order for the car to cool down. From the side, the car looks so good and so different than all the different SUVs out there. So you have a huge windscreen there that goes above the driver's head. The frames around the car are still in silver. You have the Tesla logo here, cameras all over. Of course, the car is keyless. You have the key here you can put in your pocket. If you press once here, you can open the door. It will not hit you because it has sensors. That's fantastic. If you press once, you can close the doors or any doors that's open in the car you can close it yourself you have gentle closing you have more cameras here very very nice roof and uh, that means because of the shape of the car there's a lot of space really in the front and the back the wheels are 20 inches in the front and the back those are the regular wheels you can get nicer ones i believe as an option uh, michelin tires 55 45 275 45 in the back you can press here on the remote control or you can open it yourself it's the way that opens it's just fantastic and also it opens halfway if there is you know if it detect an object or a car next to you and there is an option in the interior i'm going to show you in a second you can open it 90 degrees all the way up so you have the full falcon door Going to the back, the car looks very good too. You have huge glass there, tinted of course. You have the wing, very nice design. It looks nice, the brakes here. It raises, basically it depends on the speed that you have. You have the LED shape-wise, they look very good. Nice insert in chrome with Tesla and the Tesla logo. LEDs for the number plates in white. The signature Model X and P100D of course. There is not really diffuser, only smart insert. And I think it looks very, very aggressive. From the inside, as I mentioned, it's very nice seats, you know, and the steering wheel, leather quality, soft materials everywhere. You don't see much plastic, and actually only in the bottom, you have a nice carbon fiber, you know, lid here that you can open it. And you have two adjustable cup holders, and another area to store your phone, and different USBs. Another cup holder is here for the armrest, uh, but they're useless if you're using the armrest. Center mirror is frameless. You know, the windscreen is massive and it looks very nice. Getting inside the car, as you saw, is so simple because the door opens all the way up. You know, you have head space, leg space, and the car is very low to the ground. The center gravity is very low because we have mentioned the engines are not in the front or back. They are just below the car above the chassis. That means you don't need to make the car higher. The seats in the back, as the front, they're very nice shaped, uh, super comfortable. The person sitting in the middle will have a little bit less space, but still reasonable space. It looks so good, so expensive and elegant, and so much light coming inside the car. Two cup holders, very decent size. You can close the doors from here. You can close the door on each side from this bottom here.
driving the Model X P100D is just a blast. It's so comfortable, so quiet, so fast, like you can't even understand it. Probably the most important thing when you buy such a car is how it drives. The Model X is one of the best driving cars in the market for that segment, the SUVs. It's so quiet. The, the four-wheel drive system is absolutely fantastic. It doesn't understeer. It's very, very grippy. It's fun as well. It's really fun. Tesla named their different driving modes as acceleration because it's electric, obviously. So you have chill, sport, ludicrous, and ludicrous plus. Chill, as its name, it's very chill. This is full rev. The car doesn't really go much. So if you don't have much battery or driving inside the city, you don't want to just accidentally press the gas pedal. So it's a really good uh, option there. I like to have it sport. Uh, for the city, chill is still too lazy for me. And also the steering modes have three different functions, comfort, standard, and sport. Comfort, it's your daily luxury car, super light. You know, uh, it gives you some feedback. Standard, it's very good actually, compared to like good sports car or sports SUV. Sport is really, really good and it gives you lots of feedback. Look at the acceleration of sport. 120 and maybe four seconds. So the P100T is a pinnacle, the top of the, you know, the pyramids in terms of power and battery capacity. It's giving me more than 420 uh, kilometers range. I believe that's more than 300 miles or so. It's a pretty good number, but if you really put it in ludicrous and ludicrous mode, the numbers will drop significantly. So don't expect you're gonna have that range if you keep pressing, you know, and nailing the car. Of course, the car starts with almost $100,000 here, a bit less. But this model is almost double the price, almost $200,000. From the interior, you can get the carbon and other options, but just not really much difference. I was expecting that, you know, you can get more options for the P100D. And I believe you can, you can order like special wheels and this car doesn't have them. It's already 150, sport still. Just absolutely great. We're gonna put it right away in ludicrous mode, and this is where the fun starts. The amount of speed that this car gathers is just astonishing. At the beginning, it's just like you never use this power, so you need to adapt. You can go corners 120, 130, no problem. 160 already. <laughs> I drove the Model S P100D and absolutely liked it, but this one is just so much nicer. It drives better, it's just nicer car to look at. Since the car is fully electric, there is a very cool option. So let's say you're pressing now, so it's using the kilowatts, the power. If you lift off, it's actually recharged the power. As much the speed is higher and lift off for the longer period of time, it recharges more. It will eliminate on the screen, which is digital, in green every time it recharges. And if you use the power, if you're accelerating, it's gonna illuminate in orange. So you don't really depend too much on the brakes, you know what I mean? Because it does like auto braking function for you. And you will get used on that and you'll love it too much, especially if you're driving on the highway and the, the cars in front of you keep, you know, stopping for whatever traffic and stuff like that. One forty-two, just insane. <laughs> the seating position is electrically can adjust all the functions that you like. It's cooled and heated as well, and you can actually enable the heating function for all the different passengers in the car by just pressing here on the on the screen. <laughs> this car is so fun. I took one of my colleagues last week for a ride, and he was couldn't even speak he was just sitting crawling in his seat it was so funny of course that beep noise you have noticed already and you already know what it is it's related to speed limit also what's obvious when you sit and drive the car is like so well built really you don't feel any noise nothing coming through the cabin Acoustic glasses, they are dust resistant, they are UV resistant. 
even the shape of the you know windscreens are different than all cars just fantastic and it's massive you have windscreen even above your head looks like a space shuttle there's glass everywhere and because this car have the balcon doors which means also you have glass on top of the rear seats or the roof it looks good it feels airy it's just a beautiful place to sit even for the passengers backside this car has the five seat option or package so three seats in the rear and then there's two seats in the trunk you can use those seats if you have a big family or you need the extra seats it's nice to have them really one more acceleration God. <laughs> the g-force in this car is absolutely crazy the speed is just marvelous man the way it takes corners too it's just you don't expect from such a large car it's just like super super grippy <laughs> 120 in a blink of a second the main functions of the car are definitely the screen as you can see both doors are open now you press here even together and they will close You can open the, the back doors, the falcon doors. You can close them. The digital display screen it shows Model X T100D. The you know the different numbers on the left for the mileage consumption everything and how much you are using uh, basically on your average uh, consumption and it shows you uh, the acceleration that you do and the you know the recharging when you lift up nice carbon fiber door handler they look different and very very nice quality material double stitching full leather all the window buttons are from the mercedes-benz the columns the cruise control and the autopilot the chain channels on the steering wheel the steering is very thick actually for this kind of car very nicely shaped very comfortable you have the tesla logo here looks good expensive the volume knob the change channels and that button you can control the different functions for instance fan speed if you press this button here you can control different functions so let's spend for instance i want to display the brightness to be changed so you can scroll in and scroll to get the picture and voice command here nice carbon fiber in the central console here you have the two cup holders they are adjustable and here you have an area to rest the phone uh, it's not really wireless it's two usb and a socket you can close it but it's, your phone will get stuck you have two cup holders if you like to see the full review for the interior please check my description below for the model sp100t interior which is similar to this one